Now Jacob gave each one of his sons a symbol, and those symbols were put on their tribal flags. And the Midrash, which is an ancient book, recorded what those flags looked like. Now we're going to use those symbols to help identify each of the 12 tribes and determine where they are today. Now let's start with the tribe of Naphtali, and Naphtali's symbol was a deer. And we see this in Genesis 49:21. Naphtali is a hind let loose. Now that means a deer. Now we believe that the tribe of Naphtali can be found in the area of Scandinavia. Now notice the coat of arms. All in Finland, Sweden, and the coat of arms of Scandinavia all have deer on them. Now the tribe of Zebulon's symbol was a ship, and if you notice the crest of Holland in 1579, it has a ship on it. Now notice the scriptures here, Zebulon shall dwell by the haven of the sea, and he shall be for a haven of ships, for they shall suck the abundance of the sea and the treasures hid in the sands. Now, Issachar had two symbols, a donkey and a calendar. Genesis 49:14 says Issachar would be strong-willed and be like a strong donkey or ass. Now, 1 Chronicles 12:32 said the people of Issachar would be men that had understanding of the times. The times would be the calendar. Now, Issachar would be very close to their brother Zebulon, and Zebulon would be the Dutch people, and they would travel to South Africa, Australia, and New Zealand. So Issachar would also go in the same areas. Now you'll notice that the flag of Australia and New Zealand and the coat of arms of New Zealand all have flag arrayments of stars. Now Judah would have the symbol of the lion, and reading Genesis 49, 9, Judah is like a lion's whip. Now you will see the symbol for the lion all over Britain and Europe, because many of the kings of Europe and Britain were from the tribe of Judah. Now Joseph would be made up of two tribes, Ephraim and Manasseh, and they would move into the area of Britain, and they would be the Anglo-Saxon tribes. Now the word angles in Hebrew means bull, and if you read Deuteronomy 33:17, we see their symbols. His glory is like the firstling of a bull, and his horns are like the horns of a unicorn. Now, if you look at the British coat of arms, you see a unicorn on it. And it also has a lion, which would represent the royal house of Judah. Now, the word British means covenant people. And ish means people, and Brit means covenant. Saxon comes from the word Isaac, meaning sons of Isaac. England comes from land of the angles or land of the bull. Now the tribe of Benjamin can be found in the area of Norway. They would be the Vikings in history. Now their symbol was the wolf. And many of the Vikings went to war with a helmet that had a wolf on it. Now, we read Genesis 49:27. It says, Benjamin shall be raven as a wolf. Notice the coat of arms of Oslo, Norway. It has two wolves on it. And the Vikings would eventually settle in the area of Normandy at the top of France. And notice that the coat of arms for Normandy also has a wolf. Now notice the coat of arms of Poland has a wolf on it and the coat of arms of Scotland. Now the Vikings would eventually move into the lower part of Scotland. Now Reuben would be the oldest of the sons 
and his symbol would be the Florida Lee. Now Genesis 49.3 says he would be strong, mighty, and have power. Genesis 49.4 says he would be unstable as water. Now on his flag, he had a mandrake, and that was a flower. So he has the symbol of the Florida Lee, and sometimes it's called the water lily. Now, Reuben would be found in France, and you will see the Florida Lee on all of their coat of arms, the 13th century, the 15th century, and the House of Bourbon. Now, the name for Gad would be Troop, Genesis 49:19. Gad, a troop, shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at last. This is in reference to the tribe of Gad being pushed out of Scythia, by the Hans, and they went into the Roman Empire and took down the Roman Empire in 410 A.D. And it also says in Deuteronomy 33:20 that he would be a large tribe. He would enlarge his tribe. It would be a very large tribe. And he would be the tribe that was in Germany that would eventually come to America. And the German people in America outnumber all nationalities. One out of every four people in America is German. Now, in history, the tribe of Cad was known as the Vistagots, and they would move down into Spain and live in the area of Spain, and then they would move back up into southern France and into southern Germany. And notice the coat of arms for Spain, for Castile, for Gibraltar, and for Spain and Portugal all have castles on them, which was the symbol for Gad. Now also note that the coat of arms for France has a tent on it, and that was another symbol for Gad. Now Dan would have a symbol of a horse reared up, Genesis 49:17. Dan shall be a serpent, by the way, an adler in the path, that bites the horse's heel so that his rider shall fall backwards. Now, the other symbol for Dan was an eagle. Now, notice the coat of arms for Lower Saxony, Northern Ryan, and Lithuania all have a reared up horse on them. And the coat of arms for Ireland has an eagle on it. Now, Ireland and Denmark would be the areas where Dan would basically reside. Now, the word Denmark comes from the word Mark of Dan, and this would be the area that the people of Dan would settle as well as Ireland. And you will notice here that it has a horse reared up on their symbol, and a regular horse head on it, which would represent the tribe, again, of Dan. Now, many of the rivers in Europe are named after Dan. You have the Blue Danube, the Danapter River, the Don River, and don't forget, Denmark gets its name from Dan. Now, the tribe of Simeon never received a land inheritance. And it says that Genesis 49, 5, Simeon and Levi are brethren. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitations. They were a cruel people. It says, Cursed be their anger, for they were fierce, and their wrath, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. So they never received a land inheritance. But you would see their symbol, which is the sword, all through all the other Israelite countries. Notice the symbol of the sword in the Netherlands, in Finland, in the Viking area, and also in Ireland. Now, Asher is the last tribe, and his symbol is the cup. Deuteronomy 33:24. Asher, he said, let Asher be blessed with children and let him be acceptable to his brethren and let him dip his foot in oil. 
Now, Asher would come into Europe as the Vandals. They would settle in northern Africa. They would eventually get pushed back into upper Spain, and the area of Galactia is in the part of upper Spain, and you can see that there's a cup on their symbol. Now remember that Asher was also found in the area of the Scandinavian countries, and you notice the coat of arms for Denmark has a cup on it. Now you notice that in Denmark on the coat of arms you see a cup. Remember that many of the people of Asher were also found in the area of Scandinavia. Now the coat of arms for Greater Sweden also has a cup on it. Now there's other Hebrew symbols that are all over the area of Europe. Now we see here's the flag of Ulster has the red hand with the string tied around it. We have the coat of arms for Ireland that has a harp of David on it. And that is the coat of arms for Ireland. And then you see the Rose of Sharon on many of the coat of arms. Now in summary, see the map below. You can see based on the characteristics of the tribe and based on the symbol, this is where we believe the tribes went. And those tribes would eventually work their way into America and into Britain and into Australia and many other countries today.